more and follow the spinning bouncing ball we're going to continue to expose what the administration wants to suppress starting now if you haven't looked watch the bottom of your screen thanks to the heritage foundation and you can see how much premiums are rising for average americans if you're 27 years old if you're 50 years old see how much your premiums going up on average men are seeing a 99 percent premium increase women 62 percent according to forbes magazine and joining me now with reaction tennessee congresswoman marcia blackburn florida congressman ron DeSantis. guys good to see you congresswoman good how are you? See you i'm well thanks sean all right so this is what i did on my radio show today i called twice the number first we had a hard time getting through then we finally got through to the number the president tried to give us today we get through and we are two very nice operators they're probably going to be fired for talking to me but they just said well go back to the website so the toll-free number that the president gave to help you directs you back to the website that's not working only government can screw it up this bad congresswoman help us out and you're exactly right and 600 million dollars plus all of the HHS staff that they have invested in this and they continue to have all of these problems. It doesn't work. The president promised people that their insurance premiums would go down. They've gone up. He said if you like what you have, you can keep it. Not true, especially for those of us that have had health savings accounts. And they have a site that should have cost about a half million dollars to bill not a half billion dollars to bill and nobody can make heads or tails of it and they don't want to come and just admit they made a mistake it doesn't work they've got a program that is too expensive to afford and the system they're using to showcase it has been a failure so we're looking for uh, answers congressman i have a